Today this segment is on how to shoot a portrait. I've been a, a portrait photographer for the last 25 years and uh, photographing weddings, families, individual portraits. Uh, I, I guess I've built my reputation on shooting with available light, natural light, and that's what we're going to be talking about today, is the use of window lighting which is, uh, is very soft, it, it's beautiful and um, it enables me to shoot with a very narrow depth of field which gives this beautiful softness that you're seeing in the background now. Um, cameras that I use, I use uh, Nikon D4 with an 85mm lens and that's my favourite lens, the 85mm lens. I think a lot of people think that uh, portrait photographers use lots and lots of equipment and lenses. Uh, in a, a full day shoot at a wedding, I might shoot with just two lenses, an 85 and a 35. My other favourite um, lens is a 50mm lens. Now these are both prime lenses, the 50mm 1.4, um, which gives you that softness in the depth of field that we're going to explain a little later. And the 85 is the perfect portrait lens um, because it gives you the perfect proportion to the face. 50 is slightly wider and is good for, say, reportage when your subject is a little bit further away. So for full lengths, group shots, families, 50mm is fantastic. 85 is good for head and shoulders, couples maybe, where you really want to throw that background out of focus and soften that background. Okay, so there's another lens that I use, but that's more for covering bigger group shots and that's a 35mm 1.4. Now these lenses are all 1.4s, they're prime lenses. Unfortunately today, I think a lot of people make the mistake of buying zoom lenses with their camera bodies. And the zoom lens is great for travel photography, but for portraiture, um, a lot of them only go to say f4 or f5.6 and we're going to explain that a little later how that doesn't why that doesn't work for portraiture but is great for say landscape photography or reportage or street photography or travel photography zoom lenses are great but for this type of work prime lenses and as i as i said i use 1.4s